Hello and welcome to Office, home of a really cold concrete floor that's making my feet cold even through the carpet. I'm just gonna get those up. Oh, that's way more comfortable. Tomorrow I'm going to have a chocolate feast with my friends and I'm really looking forward to it, but I'm not sure what I'm going to wear. I know it's going to be black because I'm going to be excited and there's going to be food and we all remember pizza phone, but I'm not sure which black dress I want to wear because they are all so different. I thought it would be a good opportunity to do another wardrobe tour, except this time of my plain black dresses. I thought we'd start with most casual. This jumper skirt is by Innocent World. It's a nice sturdy cotton dress with three cute tiers and it is fully sheared so you can breathe, which is a luxury. Oh, so much space. I love this dress for when I have to get things done, if I'm gonna be on foot a lot, or if I'm worried weather is gonna be a factor. It's got really simple detailing, just a sweet little bow on the front. It has optional waist ties as well, but those just get in my way. I feel like a jellyfish. Dress two! This is also a blouse too, because this dress is an underbust dress, and I don't know you that well. This dress is by Eccentrique. As previously mentioned, it is an underbust dress with a really nice corset detail in the back, so you can choose to which degree you cannot breathe. I'm at about a six right now. It's a sweet light chiffon dress with nice boning details, so it keeps you in place. The fabric itself is a sort of gingham-y, sea sucker, I don't know how to describe it, fabric. If you know what to call this pattern, please tell me below. It has a rather simple hem, but it's also pretty decadent somehow, too. Like a cake! Delicious cake! Moving right up the curve of fanciness, we have another chiffon blouse and another chiffon jumper skirt which are both completely different than the first ones. This jumper skirt is by Victorian Maiden. It's got very soft chiffon, which gives it an almost drippy swoosh. You know what I mean? It's got your standard lacing up the back so you can adjust the size as you need to. And it kind of has a faux waspy effect here. I don't know why, but it reminds me of the ballet. Skirts are so great. And I like this floppy, droopy bow. It reminds me of bunny ears. Hmm. Hmm. Next, we have another three tiered jumper skirt, which is also totally different than the first one. This one is by Metamorphose, and it's an excellent layering piece. It buttons all the way down. So you can wear dresses underneath and show them off. This is just an underskirt, but you get the picture. This fabric is much heavier than the other ones, so it really helps if you have an additional petticoat underneath. I'm just wearing one today. It has partial shearing and waist ties, which I've elected to keep on because I think they're quite nice. Ah, oh, so much oxygen. Removable bows. And this one has pin tuck details as well. Nice. Next we have a jumper skirt by Alice and the Pirates. This one is also partially sheared. I've taken out the lacing because it's that cheap eyelet lacing that rips if you breathe. I've also taken off the waist ties because it's me after all. Good ruffles at the bottom, I think. The fabric is quite shiny, which is why I classified it as more fancy. If you disagree with my rating system, please let me know your preferred order below. The front has a big fluffy bow that came with some pearls and a charm that you can clip on and off, but I took it off because it's not solid black and I need to be on theme. I really like the chiffon detail on the bust. I think it just gives it that extra something. Dinner! This is the fanciest jumper skirt I own. It's by Atelier Piero and it has a bustle! Do, 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 do. It also has a firmly laced bodice, because if you're gonna have a bustle, you gotta tie yourself into it. 
The bustle is adjustable, so you can have a really cool high-low effect. I wear it high because the whole point of a bustle is having a rump. It has decorative lacing in the front and a really nice neckline. It is one of my very favorite dresses that I own. I wish I could wear it every day, but I would pass out. Let's bake pies made of people! This is my only solid black OP. It's by Angelic Pretty, and it is a lovely bag style dress. These are excellent for events where you'll be eating. So like basically any event that I go to. The dress is made of a really soft satiny material with this thick, beautiful lace overlay. The sleeves are chiffon so you don't sweat to death. And it has little bitty baby ties on the back just to give you a bit of shape. I could eat the sun and nobody would notice. It's got a big beautiful bow on the front and a cross detail that I'm not super keen on but is not a deal breaker for me. Still feels like it might have shrunk in the closet a bit though. Hey son, how's it going? Come to ruin my day? I'm just gonna work around it. Finally, we have my fanciest solid black piece. I am obviously joking, this is not fancy, probably the most casual. I wasn't going to include it because it's not a dress, it is a skirt, but it is solid black, so when else would I feature it? This is by Innocent World. It's a high-waisted cotton skirt, but it has secret lace panels. I usually wear it really casually because it's pretty normy as all things go. Oh my glob, your blacks don't match. Your blacks don't match. There you have it, my solid black wardrobe. That was almost all of my blouses and all of my solid black main pieces. I hope you enjoyed this themed wardrobe tour and I hope you could appreciate how totally different all those dresses were. Like always, I wanna thank you for watching past videos. Your comments, your likes really make my day. If you have any requests for future videos, let me know and I will check in with you tomorrow to let you know which look I chose. I can explain. This is clearly not a black dress, but it does have black elements. No wait, it doesn't. The outfit has black elements. This is a totally not black dress. There's no black on this whatsoever. I had one thing to do today, and it was wear a black dress, and I couldn't do it even a little bit. This dress is covered in bacon and cheese croissant crumbs. It is the bacon and cheese croissant crumb print. This is Angelic Pretty's Wonder Party in the brown colorway, which was a special release a few years after the first release. I got it when I was in Japan last year. I've had this dress for a year and I haven't worn it yet, and it is brown and chocolate is brown and I'm going to eat chocolate. I guess the moral of the story is that you can't trust me to do anything. I should do some spins, huh? Hard, it's hard to spin on unlevel ground, but I should be able to manage.